so hello my dear students today with us akash so today we have a pleasure of being joined by a truly exceptional candidate who has recently joined the prestigious institute like drdo so we are here to delight to introduce akash who has been selected to a part of drdo so for us it's very important to recognize this significant effort and hard work that has brought akash to this point in their career so his achievement so not only reflect their individual capabilities but also highlight their potential to shape the career in the field of drdo okay so akash welcome you on your pdia platform so first Thank of you. all congratulations to you so yes. akash please tell us about your your interview experience and before that please tell us about yourself Hello, I am Akash Mukhopadhyay. Um, I am from West Bengal. Um, I completed my B.Tech in Computer Science in 2020, and after that, I am preparing for GATE. And I secured in 2020-2023, like 2022-818, and in 23 this year, 505 rank. So, uh, I my only focus in GATE. Then I got the notification that we are due. is releasing some huge vacancy generally in cs there is not like that this kind of vacancy so yeah. i think I, uh, and there is a chance my get score is not because it is 818 in psu you can can get so there is a retain test in drdo so that's the chance and i have to apply for that and and to are the retain and then the interview they got the chance to selecting so interview that's the process so how is the written exam like like oh written written exam actually there is uh, not too much in the mane internet domain the about the written test so the gate sil i read the all the mane gate syllabus i focus on gate sil but, but uh, when i get the it is 300 marks uh, 150 152 paper so the first paper is about get mana get syllabus but the second paper is ai and machine learning and, okay um, and i and they mention the syllabus I, in their um, recruitment process yes 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 they given the ai machine learning and software engineering also and cryptography so these okay. four subjects are not in my my in my domain so uh, i leave it totally okay But cryptography in the B.Tech syllabus, so I all, almost correct uh, every question, and the first part I give the almost correct. I uh, mean every question correct. So there is a I think fifty percent cut off in general. So in written test, I I leave the all the AI ML part. I got selected. And what about software engineering? Software engineering, I'll, uh, some question there are very few question in software engineering. They mainly focus in probability. Actually, and I I gave the all the correct answer in probability part. Mainly and focus probability OS CM. Okay. First part is the gate syllabus. Second part is AI ML. Third part is software AI ML, engineering. Uh, cryptography. And fourth is cryptography. Fine. Uh, uh, okay. This, okay. So I think as you have a great score, as you have prepared for the gate, it means you. Uh, what's your like? Point or take on on the written exam. So, if someone wants to like prepare for the DRDO exam, so okay. how he can start? For the written exam, if you study thoroughly about the gate and the concept very clearly, it is very easy for you oh. to clear the every. Uh, it's very easy to clear the written test. Every okay. question is five marks. So, thirty question there is fifteen. Uh, uh, Thirty there first paper and thirty there total sixty question five months. So okay. it is easy to clear the written test, but the problem is arriving the uh, interview part. Okay, and what about AI and ML? Have you heard about like have you gone through some topics of AI and ML? And then what's the like is the problems are complex in nature or the easy one problems? Actually, AI and ML I see. Recently started because the DRDO is mainly domain in AI, ML, and cryptography also. So now I started, yeah. but the question is like the graph plotted like thing. They give some coordinate. I have the question paper also. So the okay. give the coordinate. Okay. Like Just if you have seen that question paper, okay. So thank you, so Akka. So after like um, like 
whenever you know that yeah you are selected for the interview on like what's your excitement and please tell actually, us about to be frank actually i am not too much when i ever of that that yeah you i mean in computer science the psu and the when a government sector is very low low chance so yeah. i mainly focus on gate and i didn't know that the the interview generally came in the when the uh, first the interview date is collide with the gate 2023 so uh, luckily for me it is after the gate and i give that so there is uh, obviously i studied and then i subscribed the yourpedia and yourpedia helped me a lot to boost my interview preparation because this is my life first interview okay. oh so i never appeared in any interview in private okay. or in government any interview so this is my first interview and yourpedia gives me a boost to my tackle the questions also so that's a great okay. thing because okay. that in government sector the interview process is very lengthy it, it, it almost takes 30 to 40 minutes per minute okay so please tell us about the journey of your interview like like how many number of panels have okay. what type of questions they ask from yeah. your side so please give us uh, a detail uh, experience please uh, this is the most interesting part the interview is actually uh, my interview was 22 february i think okay. so and it is started from 9 9 am and luckily i am the first one to appear in the interview oh, great. first one in the in the panel i am the first one so oh, i great. have to hurry hurry the submit the attestation call the attestation to very fast and i have to go so so this is the advantage also and disadvantage also to be the first <laughs> one so uh, uh, there is a five panel member uh, two women three men uh, five so they tell uh, briefly ask about the tell us about yourself and i give the uh, one first introduction and they ask me as they so, told uh, me so i i want to interrupt you aka sorry for that okay. the point is can you just tell me and tell us about like you know, what are the main points you included in your interview in your introduction in introduction introduction uh, they tell me that very precisely tell me about yourself don't okay. exaggerate the thing so please precisely tell me about yourself so i just tell the btec and uh, my gate score and passed out like that and they ask me the why two years drop you take no, you do nothing here uh, i generated no sir i am preparing for the gate and i take the two months gate and two years drop for the great gate and have a waiting for the iit is actually so this is okay so they generally ask me from btech type btech subject and for others they are, if, if if you appear in mtech doing mtech so they generally ask from mtech and project for me have, this is have you mentioned the your project work in your introduction part no 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 i didn't okay. because it is in 2020 so there okay. is very you know, few things i remember so i tell them that the subject and they general they ignore totally my first four preparation subject i tell okay. you that my so, my preparation so, subject are yes. os so, os okay cn poc uh, os cn and cn data structure then algorithm okay. so they they totally omit it and they, the panel number one panelist one ask me about okay you know the digital logic question I, i think i yes i know so then they told me that please represent the seven in binary okay so seven i i represent it then they gave me that okay please do the right shift i think arithmetic rashi right or logical rashi right okay generally whatever you want to do you do so okay so what does signify the right shift uh, uh, okay then after that they asked me that uh, what is ha uh, now number of function can be drawn from the uh, three boolean variable so this is uh, and for probability wise i represent and this is the finish the panel number one the data logic part i totally completed all the correct answer and the second panelist was you she asked me that okay you told that your favorite subject is os uh, i i think yeah yes yes ma'am so and um, she asked me that what is os module and i totally choked in that uh, i never had the os module what is the os module i and i keep i tell her to give some hints and he give me uh, and i and i totally nervous because this is my course subject and i nervous in that so she told me that okay don't panic 
uh, and he skipped it and give some other question and I give the right answer. Mm -hmm. After that, the uh, CN parts was almost good. And so what are then, the other questions they asked from the OS? OS, uh, uh, two OS faculties, okay. I don't know if he's the OS faculty or not because my first panelist OS is totally choked and I think he gave me, she gave me second chance in OS also. And she gave uh, the like what is real time OS. Okay. Uh, uh, and give me some example. And after that, she asked me that uh, what is the difference between real time OS and embedded system? So I can, I tell that. And after that, uh, washing machine, if what is washing machine is real time OS, it is working or embedded system? I tell that. And this, this is the question for OS. And the third panel is also asked me from software engineering. Uh, what is different kind of software engineering and smoke, smoke testing like that. I don't remember uh, almost. It is like that. Alpha testing, beta testing also. Uh, after that, she asked me what is the different kind of gadget like that. IoT, you know about IoT. Tell me about briefly data science and what is AI HTML, what is the use like that. This is the third panelist. And the fourth panel asked me with the CN. Mm, so CN part, they asked me that, oh, what is the difference between TCP and UDP? Briefly they describe about the TCP and the UDP. So if TCP is good, why UDP is used most? Mainly what is the difference? And different kind of protocol, mainly application protocol question are asked from CN. And the final is the one head of the member. And she asked me, Akash, do you uh, love maths? <laughs> yes, uh, in, in joint entrance exam, I am very good in maths. So, so here precisely, do you like, do you love maths or do you do maths? I, yeah, still, I have the intro to give man, and solve the solve, solving problem. So she asked me, uh, he asked me that, okay, uh, draw. Graph okay, draw y is equal to mod x. So I draw it and it will be x square man, x square y is equal to x square and x cube. This three graph collides, intersect, and he asked me that what is the maximum minimum cutting point and this kind of. I think this is the tricky question. Uh, after this question solved, the interview was finished. And so, this is no, the main what's question. the total duration of your interview? Approximately 30 40 minutes or it's, more than that? No, it is uh, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. So, like, can you just tell us about the interview panel? Are they like helping you out whenever you are going to step there? Yes, they are very friendly and they, at first, they uh, erase your panic and then they start asking questions one by one. Okay, so after you leave the interview room, so what's your expectations? Like, mm, yeah, my interview is fine up to the mark or not. What do you think? Yeah, actually, uh, actually, I am, when after giving the last question, I am seeing the face of the uh, my main panel, head panelist. So she is smiling and uh, I think I got it. Uh, my, I don't know. Actually, it is it is very relative. It is depend on the other candidate also in that. Yeah. So, so I think I got it uh, like that. So finally I am selected that. Okay. And how you start your preparation? Like you just start with the gate slavers or you just take the slavers of that um, like DRD or recruitment process okay. or just right. take the like subject one by one or what's your approach during your DRD preparation? Actually first uh, after completed gate, I get this 5 February, I think. And my interview is 22 February. I almost just 17 days. And I subscribe to the year period. And the main one by subject by subject, I revise from the short notes. Uh, see data structure and give the interview. All interview one day. And one short interview in one day after started CN. One main core subject. Generally, I ask from the others who give. The, generally, ask from core subject. And other than that, cryptography, project, and uh, software engineering like that and probability also. So one by one subject I prepared and did the interview to the year period. And, and how you can it. summarize your interview? Like like um, what they mainly see in the candidate? Actually, they mainly ask one tricky question, which is the out of the syllabus. 
and how much you stretched in that question that's the most important thing i think they generally mane observing for a candidate because okay. uh, that's the thing i think the crack question is the most important thing in the interview okay and what about are they ask question from the discrete map and yes yes uh, the head panel the last panel also asked me for in the algorithm part and he asked the um uh, hobman encoding he asked me and he tell me the what is the graph and he described the gap and he asked me the what is the name of the graph so and uh, what is the uh, maximum and mean degree of that graph also Okay, and uh, are they ask any proof required uh, proof like things like just prove that particular theorem or somewhat these no, type no, of no. cases? No, no, no. Okay, no. and have they asked the question to write the abstract code for any 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 program? No, they they didn't ask me the code or code for anything. But they asked from other candidate also the code. What is the difference between I plus plus and plus plus I and uh, I plus plus in coding and in computer architecture. What is the difference of I plus plus? So okay. I hear that, but for me, no coding question. Okay, okay, Lucky. great, great. So congratulations, Akash. Now you yes. are serving the country, and your participation, knowledge, patterns, and totally reflect to the our country security. And you are like doing a great work. so congratulations akash and like best of luck for your future and thank you for giving this interview experience and your valuable time and thank you thank you so much akash thank you sir thank you oh thank you dear thank you so much thank you